everybody can use WhatsApp, and because of that, if somebody has your phone number, they can just irritate you on WhatsApp. They may, they may be medical representatives, they may be patients, or they may be some marketing guys, or nowadays, people who are bothering me are crypto guys. So uh, with this, I will show you how to change your privacy settings. So if you go into your phone, for iPhone users, there is a setting here at the bottom. You click on that setting, and then you go in something called as account, and then you go in privacy. This is privacy. And for Android users, there will be three dots on the right hand side top. There you click, go into account, and go into privacy. So if you don't want people to see your last scene, I always keep it as nobody. Last scene is the time. So when you open WhatsApp, you can see last scene kitne baje tha. So what happens is that sometimes in the middle of the night, I get up and I check my WhatsApp and then I go back to sleep. So if people come to know that I have checked my WhatsApp at 2 a.m. or 5 a.m., they will ask me that tumne WhatsApp dekha tha, lekin mera message ka jawab nahi diya. Same thing is a profile photo. Because I use WhatsApp with my patients and for my business purposes, I always keep it everyone. But if you're using children's photos or you're using your spouse's photographs, this should be restricted to my contacts. Then there is about, about is again everyone because that is the information which I am sending out that please contact my receptionist for the appointments. Then groups, I have excluded some people for adding me into groups. They may be patients or medical representatives. So that is a privacy setting you can keep. Some people keep groups to no one. So basically nobody can add you in any group. Then you will get an invite that only if you accept the invite, you will be added to the group. And status is like Instagram stories. If you want, you can keep it people excluded or you want to open to everyone, that is up to you. But this is one thing, live location should always be none. Your live location should be none. Only share it for 15 minutes or half an hour. Do not share it all the time. Two reasons. One, it takes away your battery life. And second is that it, uh, it will basically share your location to anyone who's using WhatsApp. Then of course, if people don't listen to you, you can always block the unnecessary contacts. So many times what happens is that you had a communication with a patient or a patient's relative and from next day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Diwali, happy Ganpati Visarjan. So this comes. So I just give them one warning and if they still keep on forwarding me, I'll just block them. Basically, if you block, they can neither see you on WhatsApp, they can neither add you on WhatsApp, they can neither send you any message. Of course, there is a new feature which has come. It's called the default message timer. This is very good for people who don't use WhatsApp for data storage. So they can just keep a default timer like seven days. So after seven days, it automatically gets cleared. Like I'll tell you one famous radiologist, Dr. Bhavin Jankaria, he sent me a report of a patient, which I did not save. I did not see that he had a default timer on or seven days. After seven days, that report had disappeared. So if you keep the default timer, after seven days, 24 hours, it gives you two, three options. Seven days, 24 hours, and 90, 90 days. The just message will disappear after so many days. So the memory of your phone doesn't get full. Advantage. Of course, you can keep default timer for specific groups. You can keep default timer for specific contacts also. Then I always keep my read receipts off. That I, whenever you are messaging me, you will never see a blue tick. So if you keep it off, there is one major advantage of it that nobody can see your blue tick. So logo ko lagya, tumne message pada nahi pada. It will be a mystery for them, or many people will think ke pada hi nahi. But if you keep it off, you also cannot see the blue tick. So apna nahi dikhaoge, to dusre ka bhi nahi dekh sakte ho. It is as simple as that. So these are the privacy settings. With this, we go to the next feature, which is my favorite. This I use like a data storage of my documents. It could be a data storage of my articles, whatever I receive, which I don't have time to read. So you make your own private group and send or forward messages to that group and read messages later at peace. So what happens is that okay, many times in the morning when we get up, we are bombarded with the messages. And we get those messages and uh, we don't have time to read that messages. We saw an interesting article, a motivational post, or maybe some video, which we have just missed and we could never go back to it again because then I, we don't remember in which group or in which chat it came. So what I do is just I forward that content into a, a group called Read Later and I can see that at peace. So maybe let me show you how I can create a private group. So as you can see here, I am showing you live here. So just open your WhatsApp. 
and we go to something called as new group so just create a new group so maybe i'll create a new group with with uh, ashok and uh, then i click on this and i can maybe name it as reading or whatever you want to keep it read later or whatever and then i create this group once i have created this group then i go inside the group and i see the participants as you can see there are only two participants of this group me and ashok so what i will do is that i will remove ashok from the group and now i am the only member of this group so if i want i just keep on forwarding messages to this group whatever interesting i want to keep with me so let me show you my original read later group how it looks this is my original read later group this can be for editing so these these are some exercises which were sent to by sent to me by a physiotherapist for patients i have kept it here then there are some messages which i need see the sindhi national anthem so there are small small things which we can keep i like this image so i because i thought that i'll use it in a presentation later this is a nice image which i picked up from instagram so all this this is one course which i did i wanted to things i wanted to keep some things like this so that i can read it later so this is how am i read later is what anything else you can use it for everything nowadays is on whatsapp so recently i applied for a loan and i needed some documents like pan card aadhar card driving license whatever so i have kept something called as documents folder so in the documents also is a group where it is like a group by the name of documents and i am the only member and if you see all my driving licenses my insurance policies my certificates i just can keep it and stored here remember one thing that if you are doing it on iphone you have to have a icloud backup and if you are using an android you have to have a google drive backup because when you change phones all this data will only come if you are backed up and i can show you that it is possible i'll show you the first document which was stored it is 19 i'm using a phone which was started in 21 so i have this for almost 2 3 years and there is one group of family group which was started many years back i will just show you that the photos of which year see this group was started in april 2013 and i still have photos from there from a wedding which happened in 2013 so you can store everything the only thing is that you have to be patient when you transfer your phones don't be in a hurry to start whatsapp whenever you are transferring unless the data is restored do not transfer one major disadvantage moving chats between iphone and android you will definitely lose some data there are people who take some money and transfer it for you for a charge but iphone to a samsung modern phone it is still possible the whole data but i am not sure whether the data which i have is 40 gb will get transferred so that's why i am still stuck to iphone always remember icloud you have to buy google drive is free so if you are your android user it is almost as good as free for you uh if you have around 15 gb of space in google drive which is free and you can store it in a separate email address in google drive that option is also there but in icloud there is no option of storing it in google drive so whenever you are transferring from iphone to iphone you have to have paid icloud and whenever you are transferring from android to android there is no need it's just google drive backup is what is required so this is private group if you have any doubt or any question regarding this okay it's quite clear uh then we come to basics of photo editing so in whatsapp you can actually do little bit of basic editing especially for us orthos we get these x rays and these uh mri images with patient identity and it's blue or green that editing is also possible so you can crop it you can make it black and white and you can also mark it up let me show you one x ray see this x ray looks blue so what i'll do is i'll click on this part here on after clicking on this part it will basically show me it will give me option of cropping also give me option of rotating so i want to crop it i just want to show the clavicle fracture here and once i have shown only the clavicle fracture now i want to make it black and white so i just swipe it up and then i get this black and white image this is all inside whatsapp when i am trying to send the image and if i want to mark up i can always put a arrow i can even use this t thing and write a text so i'll just type it here mal united clavicle fracture you can even use this as a watermark maybe you can use a gray color and use it as a watermark that also works you can reduce it very small so that it doesn't obstruct the fracture and you can put place it here anywhere you want and then you just click on send and it will go this is a watermark which i am showing i can make a watermark i can just make it very small and put it so if this image is forwarded anywhere or used in any presentation this watermark is carry forward ca carried forward with it 
So that is the main advantage. So your images and videos remain watermarked. Now we come to something called as video editing. There is a basic video editing feature also in this. So I'll just show you how a video is sent. So I'll just select a video from the gallery. This is an Android phone. I am sending it to Dr. Prasad who is sitting right here. This is a surgery which we did together. So this is a 10 snail extractor set of Shirsagar uh, implant removal set which we tried to use for the first time. I would like to tell you it doesn't work properly. And <laughs> so Prasad, I was telling Prasad to use it. No, no, why you are using it? I don't want to use it. The nail will go inside. He was all scared, but I wanted to use because I wanted to make a video of this. So again, I can mark the video in this same way as I marked in the photos. And I can also write the text so it becomes like what I am describing the video. So wherever this video goes, that this text will travel with it. Same way like the image, it is very similar. And if you want to hide the patient's identity, there is a smiley thing which you can use. So this is how the video goes with the marking. And if you forward this video, this marking will go with this. <coughs> then we come to new features of 2022, photo view once. Anybody who is aware of this feature? Do you know what this feature is? Yes, only Shikhar is aware because I have only taught him. So the photo view once feature, let me show you live. So the photo view once feature is something like this. So you go into WhatsApp, you can do it with me if you want. And uh, <coughs> maybe we can send one photo to NMOACon group only directly from here. I'll click on photo here. And if you see on the right side bottom, there is something called as one written. I just clicked on it. So it said photo set to view once. So when I send this, see this is how it goes. So all of you can now open in that group which I have sent NMO account uh, and see that photo. You can see that photo but once you have seen you cannot see it again. No, this is you have sent it as a normal photo Chetan. You have to click on one. When you send it, you have to click on one. Try again. Yes, Bhushan. Privacy, secrecy. Yes, it will be deleted. So supposing you want to share some some details with someone, मतलब के कुछ दिखाने का है कि basically ये देखो ये गड़बड़ कर रहा है, तुम्हारा resident गड़बड़ कर रहा है. But pan card एक बार दिखा के फायदा नहीं, pan card उसको note down करना पड़ता है. Pan card you should send it as a PDF. So pan card दिखा के फायदा नहीं है. See anyways anybody cannot use your pan card and other card your photo is there with it. So that cannot be an other card cannot be misused without your fingerprint or OTP. So that's okay because that is shared everywhere. You cannot stop sharing that. This is mainly for sharing secret photos. Ah. So now you see, now I will just show you, I have received three photos, one from Chetan, let me open from Chetan and you see this, now if I want to save this photo, I cannot save, I can only report this contact. So if I want to save, the only way is taking a screenshot. So though I took a screenshot, it's just a matter of time, by the end of this year, this screenshot will also not be allowed. So WhatsApp will not allow you to take a screenshot. So by, then you stop it, now I cannot do anything, now when I click on this, nothing happens. That's it, it's gone. So unless I have... At that moment, normally what happens? People will just open the photo. Kya hai? Dekh liya. Abhi band kar diya. They will never save or they will not take a screenshot. But now WhatsApp is going one feature higher that uh, they will send us. This is a normal photograph. Sir, sir is sending. Achha, the, some other workshop is going on. So this is photo view once. As life progresses, Bhushan, you will understand the importance of this. <laughs> and plus, main thing is that the screenshot should not happen. So this is again a, so now from last three days, this is the latest feature which WhatsApp has came. They are giving more power to admins. Admins now can delete messages of others too for almost two days. So means if supposing there is a group mein kuch kachra message aya hai, ya in your group some porn video has come, that can also be deleted by the admin if they wish to. Or supposing a group is for some other purpose but somebody is advertising, then that, that can also be deleted. The only disadvantage is that you see this, the message was deleted by the admin Neeraj Bijlani. So it will be written, your name will be written who has deleted this. Supposing there are four admins, you cannot hide that you have deleted. But it's okay. Because if you are the admin, you are running the group, this is how you can maintain discipline. Let me just show you how this works. So this is a group where I have sent a photograph. And this is the photograph. Now I want to edit this photograph. I don't like this photograph because this has the patient's name and everything in this. So I'll just remove this photograph. What I will do is I will edit this photograph as discussed earlier. I will edit it 
I will put my name in it. I will make it nice black and white. And I will put my name like a watermark. And then just put it in the corner. And after I put it in the corner, I will send it. And now I will delete this photograph, which was sent to me by someone else. So I will just go over here and delete this photograph. And I will get option of delete for everyone. Normally it was not there. You can try it. In any of your groups, I will now send and it, got, it gets deleted. Let me send a photograph and try to delete it. Who is any admin of NMOICON is sitting here? No, there is only one admin. Anyways. So you can try doing it right now. Ashok can try it. I'll send it to Ashok. So I have sent it in this group where Ashok is also the admin. Now he will delete this photograph. You have not updated your WhatsApp. I just told you to update your WhatsApp. So uh, this feature is still coming. Maybe it has not come for every phone. Huh? Achha, dikh nahi raha. Okay. What about core NMOA? Any, uh, are you the admin, Chetan? Uh, so I will send you a photograph here. Try to delete it. See, I have sent my photograph here. Let's see if you can delete it. And see what happens once he deletes it. Delete for everyone. Everyone, yes. Yeah, see, so this was not possible till two days back. This has just come to two, three days back. This is a, yes, that is a, see, it's written, uh, it's related by admin Dr. Chetan Chajir. So that is a, it can be advantage, disadvantage. If you want to run a group with discipline, you should have the authority to delete it. So you should not have to depend on someone else. But this also opens one more Pandora's box. Now the government will start basically saying that you are an admin, you are, you are supposed to delete that message. Why you did not delete it? Yeah, you are more responsible for the group. So that is why I, I, I want to ask you, are you aware of groups, uh, something called as admin only group? How many are not aware? Hmm. Are you a member of Ortho TV group? Can you post in that? So that is the admin only group, where only admins can post. That is what admins group are. So me and Ashok run, I think, the maximum number of admin groups in India. So there is, there are so many admin, he runs more than me, in fact, basically. He has some, uh, about how many patient groups? 150 patient groups, which are admin only. <laughs> he doesn't see WhatsApp. Yes. Admin only group ka. Let me show you. So. For example, this is a, uh, a show group between me and uh, Ashok. So, isme there is something called as group settings. Isme main admin nahi hoga? Nahi group settings kyon nahi dikh raha sir? Nahi isme main nahi. Let me put another group. So let me see this group. So in this group, there is whenever you are an admin, it shows you something called as group settings. You go in this group settings, send messages, and you can make it to only admins. So this becomes an admin only group. So are all ortho TV groups are admin only groups because we don't want others to post. It is only for ortho TV content we are made those groups. Edit group info, only admins you can do. So group info is what? This is group info. Private group for only me. This is the description which I have kept. So something like this. So like this, TV. For example, I'll just open an ortho TV group, not this one. So this one. So if you see, this is the description. This only I can edit. So edit group info. Send messages only admin, edit group info only admins. And you can even add admins if you want. So this is how you can run a admin only group to control things. Now one more feature which came one or two months back. 
that we were basically had to make more groups after 256 and we wanted to add more people. So supposing if you are in a big society where there's a big tower and then you can have only one one person. So now the group restriction has become 512. So again, more power. So you see this is a part of the, the moment it became, the second day I was added to this group. This is group of Jammu Trauma Society where they had added many people the moment it became more than 256. And now there are 394 participants. So every group can have up to 512 participants and it is no more restricted to 256. How many people are there in your department? Nay, total. Residents, whatever, sub, SR, resident, lecturer. Achha, only 50. Not your unit. I am talking about full department. Ha. Ha. That's all. So you can now, in fact, have all the faculty of DY Patel in one group. 512 se kami hoga na faculty? Yes. Ha. And now one more feature which came out in, I think, 21 end or 22, I'm not sure when it came out, archived chats can now remain muted. So what happens is that there are s people, you know, people leave groups because the, some groups are very noisy. There is a lot of discussion, but you are just an observer. You don't want to participate in the discussion. So people just leave groups. One of the classic examples is my partner Prasad here. He leaves groups. Then he leaves groups very fast. So I tell him, don't leave. So I set him up an alternate number on his phone, WhatsApp business, which is called notification. Ban kar do. But now there is a new feature called archived chats. So if you archive the chat, your chat will remain archived discussion you will not be able to see it unless you manually go and open the archive chats. So let me show you a small video. See this. So see this on the top here. This is archived here. Can you see? You can see the mouse. Huh. Archived here. So I'll just archive my school group here. And I click on archive. And you see at 11.27 p.m. it had messages. And it, it is a very busy group. If I don't see it, it's so you see these are all my archive groups which I don't need to see on a minute to minute basis and I don't get disturbed again and again. You can not only archive groups, you can also archive your uh, individual chats. So supposing you have a broadcast page in Roj, so a restaurant wala koi broadcast page or a company wala broadcast page, you can archive it because you may require that restaurant delivery later on. How to do it? You have to go in the settings. Let me show you this part I think missed. Huh. So you go in the settings here at the bottom. Then go in chats and then there is keep charts archived. You have to keep it on here. Only then it will be archived. Otherwise, if you keep it off, to archive kar diya, jaise next message aega, wapas bahar aega. So you don't want that. So that's it from, then there is WhatsApp business. Of course, you can have a separate number on the same phone. You can communicate with patients only, keep it separate. Features like clinic timings, maps, timings, catalogs, and short links. Why don't you try to scan this QR code and see what happens? You can have a QR code separately for your WhatsApp. I have printed this QR code on my file and stationery. It goes to my receptionist. Just try to scan this QR code. Anyone would can try and send a message here. Plus, there is one extra feature, which is, see, if you can see, this is a difference in WhatsApp business. You can have, what is the description of my clinic? What is the timing? This was taken yesterday, so it's showing Friday. This was the timing. Then this is my address, email address, and even a Google map link is set at the bottom. Let me show you a new feature which has got, it's got catalogs. So you see these business tools. I go in business tools here. And then there is something called as catalog here. Go in catalog and you can actually make your cases as catalogs. So you can add a new item. Do not put the price to it, just upload images of the case, like this is a supracondylar humerus fracture. So I'll just add the x-ray and I'll add the clinical result post-operative and I'll also add the CM images for the surgery, what was done. So once I've added everything, it will show all the images here. Of course, try to hide the patient's identity because of the mask, the patient's identity is hidden anyways. You can type the details here, you can type in the description and explain that this requires urgent surgery and country you have to mention it is India. Nowadays it's not allowed, it's okay not to mention country also in the latest feature and once it is saved, it shows here. Sometimes the WhatsApp requires it to be approved before you can start sending it or before it starts sending it. Supposing sometimes WhatsApp approves, sometimes doesn't approve. So you have to do trial and error. So some cases may get approved, some cases may not get approved. So this is how you can make your own catalog of cases. So supposing if Sandeep is doing only arthroscopy, you can make of a rotator cuff, ACL, and uh, then PCL, PLC, meniscus, something like that. And somebody who's doing trauma can be making of tibia, femur, proximal tibia, distal tibia. 
and somebody who is doing joint replacements then can make of knee replacement, primary, second revision, something like that. So this is can happen only if you are using WhatsApp business uh, as a secondary number. Now we come to web WhatsApp. How many are uh, not aware of web WhatsApp here or are using it? Yeah. So web WhatsApp is nothing but WhatsApp on your browser, Chrome browser. It works best on the Chrome browser and uh, you just have to go to this website on your computer web.whatsapp.com. So many people who keep on calling me, they say that you phone not phone but I reply on WhatsApp. This is the reason when I'm in clinic, I will always have my WhatsApp open and when I'm typing the prescription of the patients, between patients, I reply to my WhatsApp also. But phone is lying silent somewhere in the corner, so I don't pick up my phone very easily. So if you want to get through to me, message me and it will be much easier, especially when I'm in clinic. In fact, most of me and Ashok, most of the replies happen on web WhatsApp. Our replies are more on web WhatsApp compared to our phone. We hardly reply on the phone because the web WhatsApp is always open. And main advantage now which has come latest is that WhatsApp web can be on multiple computers. So it can be your home computer, it can be your clinic laptop, it can, supposing if you're using WhatsApp business, like if you see in the morning those who are Ortho TV members, Ashok Sham has sent a message. Ashok Sham has sent a message that this is live now. There is some live program which happened at 8 o'clock which was live now. How it was sent? Because it was sent using this web WhatsApp which was set up on our employees, Ortho TV employees uh, laptop. So you can even set up on four different laptops. Of course, you should not set up your personal WhatsApp on somebody else's. That is why you keep it segregated. So me and Ashok have got a secondary number which we have kept segregated only for Ortho TV work and that is why it can be set up on multiple laptops and they can do our work. I remember still that the first time I did this pra when I was uh, assisting Prasad in a surgery and he had washed out to write notes and I was doing the closure. Suddenly he came with my phone, well, your phone is with me, who's sending WhatsApp? <laughs> you are doing closure, then who's sending WhatsApp on your behalf? So then I explained to him that this is how it can be done. So even when, you're, when I'm doing some other work, my work can be managed by someone else. So this can be delegated. Especially if you have a patient dedicated number for appointments and everything and that person can be basically replying it using a computer or using your phone, whatever you want to do. If you don't have a dedicated assistant, 24 hours at least in a clinic, they can set it up on their desktop and you can also have a backup on your WhatsApp, but keep it separate. Then I will tell you a trick that if you want to send someone WhatsApp, especially your loan guy or somebody who's sending document and you don't want to save his phone number, it's a very simple trick. You can do it right now if you want to do. I will show it to you. Open your browser. It can be Chrome, Safari, anything. Just open it and type this on your browser. wa.me slash 91 and then the mobile number. wa.me slash 91 and then the mobile number and then just click enter. It will automatically open your WhatsApp and, and open the chat for them, for that person without saving the number. See, this is what happens. Open. I click on open here. And once I open, then it opens a WhatsApp. I want to open in WhatsApp. I don't want to open in business. So I'll click on open in WhatsApp. Because I have two, it does like that. And see, this number is not saved, but I can still chat with that person. So this is how you can do it. And this person does not have privacy setting on also. I can see the photo. So privacy setting is very important. <laughs> As I told you, especially if you're keeping the photo with the spouse or your children. Because these photos can be saved and misused later on. So for if you want, you can take a photograph of this wa.me slash 91. And then the mobile number. Not plus 91, just 91. So this is it from my side. And if you want to know more, you can may message me. I will add you to the WhatsApp, Telegram and WhatsApp group. And with this, uh, I stop my presentation here. Mm -hmm.